We've heard for many years now that you want bigger and better seasonal events. Something that embodies the spirit of the season, brings everyone together, has a great seasonal quest and is packed with gameplay earnable rewards. With Christmas and Easter, we put our efforts into making that a reality while also ensuring we build a strong foundation that we can efficiently build upon for future events appearances. However, from your feedback, there's a balance to strike in achieving this it's clear you want to see more of our development invested in permanent content, especially in the near term, rather than content with a limited seasonal availability. In response, we have stopped the development of our summer event and refocused those resources onto new permanent content releases. While well, Jagex dropped the bombshell on us yesterday, we were expecting to hear about the new quest Requiem of a Dragon, which we did and we'll touch on in this video as well. But an hour before the stream, they also dropped an entire news post that that quote I just read out is from about how they are shifting the direction of development and giving us new permanent content in the near future, as they put it, near term, instead of the seasonal content we've been getting this year. Honestly, credit where credit is due. Jagex put out a straight to the point, no BS, blonde blog about what is going on with the game and why it's happening. Something I appreciate and want to give my gratitude for. Does this solve all the issues we have with the game and is everything sunshine and rainbows now? No, but this is what we want to see and should champion them for as it will hopefully encourage them to keep this going for the future. Actually, funnily enough, in my previous video on MTX, people didn't get angry at me for my MTX takes, which baffled me by the way, I'm not really complaining, but instead they got angry at me for expecting a content update every month and told me it was unrealistic. Well, what Jagex just announced is exactly what I mean by monthly content. April will be the new quest, Requiem of a Dragon, which will offer us a new ritual site post quest that is more AFK and laid back, with less experience and no soul gains, which is fine and well balanced in my opinion, and it will offer some variety to the skilling locations and methods regarding necromancy. They're also going to give us a new ring with the quest that will be the best installed necromancy ring and upgradable by doing skilling on Ongel, the place where the ritual site is. It will be a comp requirement and RNG, but there's bad luck mitigation, so you don't have to worry about going dry. And this is exactly what I and many others like to see, a quest with some meaningful post-quest content. Now, we already knew that this was happening, but for May and June, we wouldn't have gotten any proper permanent content updates besides the summer event instead of the beach, which now has been scrapped. And the beach, including the hole, so don't worry, you can train your dungeoneering, will return this summer with some new cosmetics, at least I'm assuming they will have new cosmetics for it. However, they scrapped this seasonal event to bring us a new Necromancy Rex Matriarch boss and a Demonheim Archaeology dig site respectively. Yet again, updates we like to see. A new boss and a new skilling method, such activity or however you want to label a dig site. Having similar size updates of this once a month, a new quest with some post quest stuff, a new skilling activity with a dig site or whatever it might be, or a new boss, is exactly what I and many others kind of expect to see every month, even if some of it is only a couple hours grinding, besides the boss log, we still got permanent content that is engaging, well designed and something that will be a permanent part of the game. Sprinkle one or two bigger updates on top of that and we're having a great year. Instead, Jack has decided to put all their focus on seasonal content instead of permanent content. Something I made an entire video on as well, which most of you probably didn't see because YouTube was broken on that day. But pretty much, the issue isn't that they're doing these seasonal events, especially if they will function as a foundation for the next few years, as long as they will actually be a foundation and build upon in the next few years. AKA, next year's seasonal event should take barely any dev time at all to develop, however, I don't think it's a smart idea to do all seasonal events in one year as we get a situation that we're in right now where there's barely any permanent content for us to enjoy. There should be a healthy mix of these two and by the sounds of it, Jax has realized that as well. I sometimes feel like they're kind of overcompensating for their shortcomings with the game as the developers and community managers truly care about RuneScape 3. I mean popular belief is that they don't, but trust me, these people that actually make the game really do care. You want seasonal events, let's give you the ultra seasonal event, when most of us probably only wanted to quest out seasonal events, from back in the day, to actually make a return. Instead, we got a new quest, new area, new skilling, with a shop and three egg hunts, a great event, but at what cost? 
Now let's see what this content is about once it releases. The dig site, the Rex Matriarch and everything else that they are going to be putting out. Which I will be covering on this channel as per usual so if you don't want to miss it. Subscribe and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And let me know what you think in the comment section down below. My name is Javelric and I'll see you guys in my next video.